dudes! Welcome to episode one of Seuss Cast. I'm your host, Seuss. Today's special guest is the one and only Stan Pines from the Mystery Shack. Give him a hand, applause sound effect. I what? What is all this recording equipment and why are we on the roof? And where's this polecat you've been going on about all day? Not polecat, podcast. It's when people record their voices for entertainment. Like the radio? <laughs> No way. Nobody listens to the radio anymore. That's like TV with no pictures. No, no. This is way different. Podcasts are like audiobooks about people who don't want to get jobs. Why did I get myself into this? Time for our first segment, where we give people meaningful life advice. I call it Seuss's Solutions. Seuss Solutions? Solutions? <laughs> Seuss, I work at a really cool place. My boss is just like my fake dad. I thought he installed a new employee bathroom recently, but it turns out it's just been a utility closet this whole time. I have been using it. The damage is done. How mad is my boss going to be? Sincerely, anonymous. Definitely anonymous. <laughs> oh boy, that guy's getting fired. If he were my son employee, I'd definitely not be proud of him or cherish our bond. That guy, that... Oh, oh, Seuss, no. Next question. Dear Seuss, how can you tell if a boy likes you? Sincerely, Shooting Star. <laughs> oh, this one's easy. If his cheeks turn red and he giggles like this... <laughs> he likes you, dog. Either that or he's the Gigglesbury Doughboy. Man, I love that Doughboy. Easy. Ask him to lend you some money. If he likes you, he'll do it. And if he does do it, he's a chump and you can do better. Kick him to the curb, honey. Dear Seuss, help. My wife is leaving. Oh, dude, dude. You gotta take care of you, dog. Sometimes, sometimes love isn't enough. On the journey of life. We all must take a moment and realize we... Oh, wait, 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 sorry. I totally misread this one. It doesn't say my wife is leaving. It says my life is weaving. Huh. Well, that's not a problem at all. <laughs> you can't have too many baskets. Yeah, baskets are great. My preferred snake containment method. This next segment is called Seuss's Snoozers, where we make soothing sounds to help our listeners fall asleep. Don't worry, Seuss. If they're listening to this, they're probably already asleep by now. Hello, and welcome to a magical dream world. Let my soggy whispers gently lull you to sleep, my guy. Today, we will take a walk on the beach together and collect seashells. What, whatever this is, whatever's happening right now, I hate it. I hate all of this. You gotta whisper, Stan. This is... This is... I don't have a whisper voice. Then make ocean sounds. <sighs> all right. Whoosh. Ocean. Breeze, breezy breezes. Caca. Goes the bird. Bork, bork. Cries the distant um, sea dog. Whoosh! Guy, guy in a speedo walking, walking on the beach. Whoosh! Um, there's no bees on the beach, dude. Uh, that's not me. That's not me. There's an actual bees nest on the roof. Oh, uh, 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 bees! Ah, bees! Seuss! Watch out! You're gonna oh, fall oh, off the roof. Oh, ah, ah. oh, geez! Zeus, are you okay? Oh, oh gosh! Your arm is very visibly broken. You can touch your elbow with this setup. It's, uh, it's uh, definitely going to need a cast. <laughs> a Seuss cast. <laughs> well, that's the end of one Seuss cast and the beginning of another. Um, see you dudes uh, later after I hospitalize myself. Goodbye. <laughs> We still recording? All right, before we go, I want to plug the Mystery Shack. Buy my stuff! Okay, bye. <laughs>